Thanks, Sharon. The consensus is the winner of tonight's race, barring any kind of upset, will be the divisional champ. And already the thing about divisional champs for next year at yearling auctions. Sharon Smith recently visited one. These standard bred yearlings at Hanover Shoe Farm in Pennsylvania were scheduled to be sold shortly after this demonstration before potential buyers. The Colts and Phillies, both trotters and pacers, were shown with cantering ponies to demonstrate their gait to people interested in buying them. Pedigree and confirmation remain the primary selling points for young racehorses, but the buyers are given an additional source of information with the demonstration, just how the horses are likely to look in action once they begin training. Hanover President John Simpson Sr. explains why it's an advantage and a growing trend to lead yearlings it's not just as a sales tool. The main reason for leading them is con to condition them. First of all, they're athletes because they're going to race, we hope. And the owners will get them and start breaking them, and their trainers will start breaking them and put them in training. And we feel that a couple of months of, of leading, when they come out of the pastures before they're sold, conditions them for what they're going to face at the racetrack. Standard bred yearlings are still shown in the traditional way, too. The speedy crown colt, for example, needs only to show off his extraordinary good looks to draw interest in a high bid. But to people paying thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars for an untried horse, every additional bit of information allows a buyer to make what he hopes will be a better decision. Well, we'll find out next year if that colt is going to amount to anything.